Welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Blind. And in this episode, we're gonna look for Billy. Still can't get over that. That is such a stupid name. I wonder what other stupid names I'm gonna come up with. Maybe we need to hit sound. And we just got ambushed. Game that is not cool! I don't like having to edit all this crap out. Okay, this looks like a chocobo. Oh! Well, that's fantastic. I guess we don't go to the uh, South Figaro. Well, we do get ambushed, though. Okay, seriously, that was... And we... Game! Okay. Finally, that's done. Seriously, this episode's gonna be a real fun to edit, won't it? Where is that boy Billy? Actually, no, no, I don't think... I was gonna say it was maybe in the engine, but no. No, I believe I checked before I died last time. Who's there? <laughs> what? This wave? That they settle it with a coin toss? But it's like. Dude was gone! So... So, like, how would... So, like, how would Dude become the successor? It's like... What? That don't make sense. So, why would... Oh! I guess all we needed to do was take a rest. Wonder what's behind. Can't go there. Oh well. Let's talk to the king. Oh. It's taken a lot of people like Kafka. <laughs> Okay, already I'm starting to like this guy. <laughs> what? What? What was that? For the first time. Same difference, really. If I see her, I'll let you know. Stole something of minor value. What?
That... That sounds like a threat. Well. <laughs> I'll say that's an understatement. So it's like, how would you decide something with a coin toss when there's, like, only one real option? Also, I probably shouldn't have went back there, but oh well. Is this... Okay, so, yeah, like... How would he even show, like, you have a, you, you, like, if the only one present is there, then, like, how would, then, like, how would you decide that? Like, wouldn't it be obvious, like, like, Billy would be the only option for I did not mean to do that. Billy would be the only option for the next king. Also, on a side note, I just I realized it's the that the um um the overworld music is actually the same thing, the same as the opening music for the opening cutscene. I take it the opening cutscene is a remixed version of it, or something like that. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yep. I am not a thief! Yeah, the difference between a treasure hunter and a thief is that a treasure hunter is the... The truth, the difference between a treasure hunter and a... A thief is that a treasure hunter is charismatic. Okay. There's a huge difference. One's likable, the other one is just a criminal. That's that's the di that's the thing, folks. You can everyone can be a criminal if they want to, as long as they're charismatic about it. Just be real charming and whatnot. You'll be able to get away with anything. No, I do not condone any of this, by the way. I just love taking indefensible positions to, to troll people, or rather, to mess with them. Yep, you just try and be it as... Um, as tricky as you can be. Just be as charming as you want to and you can get away with anything. Like Kefka here, he's just burning the place down. Gee. I want to get on his bad side. Okay. Yeah, thanks for pointing out the obvious. What are we doing? Run away! Run away! Okay. Okay, 
I'm starting to like Billy. So how would you burn a stone castle? Okay, so so it is a spaceship. <laughs> so yeah, I guess Biggs and Lynch really did work for the Empire, which is Incredibly ironic since uh, in Star Wars they were fighting against the Empire. <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to be attacked again. And it looks like another boss fight. Tools. Oh crap! M King is like really dead. And he's dead! Oh, fantastic! Now I gotta use a Phoenix down. I sure hope I don't die. What? Oh crap, this dang guy is a tonic! Uh, Billy needs it more. Poor Billy. What the... Oh. What? Oh, uh, okay. Well... <laughs> Everyone... Okay, everyone's just so, so, um, spooked about that. Uh, I don't know. Now it's not the time to be, to point this out, you know. Look, you do know we are being attacked by, like, giant mechs! Sir, okay, it's... Huh. Uh, okay? Um, now is absolute. now is the worst time to... And wait, did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. That's it. Let's get out of here! <laughs> Son of a submariner! <laughs> I gotta remember that one. That is a good... <laughs> I'm probably gonna be using it like a submariner, so it's like someone 
Is the submariner that we're a son of someone who hunts for shrimp? Dang it! Shrimp keeps coming up! That friggin' shrimp! I tell you, this is just nuts! I can't avoid mentioning them, shrimp! I can tell, shrimp. Oh, this is probably gonna turn into a running gag. <clears throat> that wasn't a running gag, that was just a one time gag. And what are you doing? So picking on, like, one individual mage is gonna destroy the, the world, or the world's doomed or something like that. Okay, I guess going to South Begara was, like, the very next step. So, this had been so many. Fortunately, I now know what to do. It's really hard to navigate with the map looking like this. Okay, that's that too. Wherever the starting place was, well, I, well, I should probably know this, but whatever. I think it's down this way. Uh, okay. This is really disorienting here. It should be volcano. Oh, no. Then, what was it this way? Um. I'm probably gonna have to get off the chocobo since it just keeps messing with my perception. Or maybe not. Is this way? Looks like it. Okay, um, I guess not. Then, we'll head back. And, uh, how on earth did... Okay, I am seriously disoriented. I am going to have to, um... I'm gonna have to get off, just so I can use to find the map without being attacked! And, uh, okay, looks like we have a new enemy here, the Dark Wind. And, um... I think I'll have to head to the cave some other way. Maybe I'll have to speed this video up. I, I could've sw like I found the cave via somewhat unintentionally, so it's like, why, why am I having trouble finding it now? Game? And we're back. This was the cave. Oh, I was thinking it would be like a dot on the map, but I guess not. Let's try and get through here. Okay. I tried to go here before, but I could, it was blocked. Oh, that's nice. Recovery. And we get invaded again. And we have some new enemies. So, I'll try fire. Wait! Oh, oh, I thought that- I thought I was using fire on myself, that was- that would have been pretty bad. That auto crossbow is really good. I th 
actually, you know what? This video is getting to be a bit long. I think I'll have to look for a save point. Should be somewhere around here. Also, if I'm not mistaken, game! Stop ambushing me! Well, it looks like we have another new enemy. Well, in any case, as I was saying, the um, um, well, yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I believe I'm guessing the sleeping bags. Uh, they they're the ones that like they heal. One party member, and I guess the tent heals everyone? I could be mistaken, but that seems to be what... I'm guessing that's what they would do. And look, he's here! It's a trash! Oh, What's that do? Um, well, whatever it is, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Or a video filled with misinformation about shrimp. Dang it, that keeps coming up! And we gained a level for Terra. So that's good. Now the... And we just got attacked again. Okay, sorry about that. Audacity crapped out on me. For some reason, it just was kind of glitchy. Fortunately, I was able to export the audio there, and it seems like we've actually managed to get down to South Figaro. So that's good. Actually, you know what? This video is getting kind of long, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my I'm gonna save my game, and this is it for this part. This is the Mississippi King signing out, and in the next episode, we'll explore South Figuro to see what's going on to see what's there so that we can defeat Kefka. Join me next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Blind.